Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be pouring a, another sink. Yep, another one. This one came out of an RV. The uh, gentleman I'm doing it for, he just wants something simple. He don't want nothing too drastic. No real bright colors or anything like that. So yeah, it's a teeny sink too. But uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the sink. Show you what epoxy we're going to be using. The colors we're going to be using. And all that good stuff. And then we'll get to mixing the epoxy and go from there. Alright guys, here's the sink. It's it's not really big. It may have I mean, look at my hand compared to the sink. It's not really big. Like I said, it come out of an RV, an older RV. I done his table. Here's his table. That goes in. I have a video of that. I just gotta get it edited. I'm having problems with my computer. But anyway, this is a sink. We're gonna be using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. That's some really good epoxy. I may use a little bit of this gloss black paint in it. But the main color is going to be this mica powder I got mixed up. I got it mixed up with a little bit of ice. Now, hold on, man. Mix it up and I'll let you see it. I got it mixed up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. That way it don't clump up whenever I put it in my resin. And I think I'm going to mix up a little bit. This is, I don't want to tilt it because this is open. It's a Rust-Oleum white oil-based paint. Now what that'll do, if... I have enough of my spray paint in there that'll give me cells and it will also cause some really super fine lines in your color across your project it makes it look really nice so hang tight let me get the camera set up and uh, we'll get the pour Alright guys, like I said, this is a one-to-one -one mix ratio. When you mix it, you want to make sure. Let's see, there's two ways you can do it. I like looking inside the cup when I pour it. I can see the line better. I always put my hardener in first because this epoxy sticks to the side of the containers and it the hardener is quite a bit thinner than the resin this one I can't remember what I started on okay so I got two ounces in there I'm gonna put two ounces of the resin Anyway, like I was saying, the hardener is quite a bit thinner than the resin. And when you mix it, I don't know what I'm doing with this for. I got a drill on the paddle. Got to talking and got just went to work. When you mix it, it uh, sticks to the side. Well, it the hardener being thinner, as much of it don't stick. So. That's why I do that. And also, you get a more accurate reading when you pour the resin into the hardener. All of the hardener floats on top of the resin and gives you more accurate reading. Anyway, if you're going to be using a drill paddle like this, make sure you hold on to this container because this epoxy is thick. It'll grab this container and twist it, and it'll sling epoxy everywhere. You don't want to do that, trust me. If you're using a paddle like this, mix for about two minutes, three minutes, and then we'll go from there. Submerge your paddle all the way in your epoxy so you don't get any excess, bubble, excess bubbles in there. Set that right there for a minute. Now once you mix it with your paddle, take you a, a, a popsicle stick, stir stick like this. Scrape the sides really, really well to get that unmixed epoxy that's stuck there off out into the mass of epoxy. 
That way it can get mixed up and you won't have any sticky spots in your project. When you do that, you're going to be able to see that unmixed epoxy in there. You also want to scrape the bottom really well also because there's all kinds of unmixed epoxy in this container. One good way to know if you've mixed it good, of course, is after the fact, but whenever you dump all this out and you go to uh, the next day, the epoxy that's left in the cup, when it hardens and you go to pull it out, if it all comes out at one time and there's no sticky spots on the inside of the container, well, you've done a good mix job. Pat yourself on the back. Okay, I've got the side scraped good. I'm going to hit it with a drill for about 30 more seconds. And then we're going to mix this up. Before I do that, I'm going to put this concoction I got brewed up right here in this epoxy and mix it up. Scrape the sides one more time. I don't have to use the drill no more on this. I can just mix the rest of this by hand. If uh, you guys have seen any of my other videos and they're worthy of it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done it. Uh, leave me a comment saying hey or any suggestions or anything you would like to to do criticism as long as it's constructive criticism All right, I'm gonna mix this up real quick I'm just gonna mix this by hand being there's not that much of it and besides my paddles dirty now I'll take my oil based paint I think I'll put it in this container I want it really opaque, so I'm going to use quite a bit. Okay. Now let me get the camera reset up and we'll get to work. Alright guys. I'm going to get this epoxy out on the sink and get to work here. Got all my colors mixed up. I love that Aztec gold. It sure is a pretty color. Now I pour my sinks in two pours. I'll do this part of the sink in one pour. When that cures, I'll stand it up on its backsplash and I'll do the backsplash. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Most of you already know how I pour my sinks though. Be generous with it. Don't don't be scared. You're not going to keep it from going down the drain. So there's no reason to even try. It ain't going to happen. First time I've done this, I tried to keep the epoxy from going down the drain. And oh, Lord, I drove myself crazy trying to get it back up on the sink and uh keep it from going down the drain it just it's not gonna happen don't beat yourself up over it you're not gonna keep the epoxy on the sink you're gonna lose a lot of it so if you're gonna pour sink like this just be prepared it's gonna happen let me get my brush get it primed you want to make sure you get your edges and all that really well. Boy, that sure is a pretty color. As soon as you get the main part of your sink, the epoxy on it, go straight to your edges and take care of your edges. Make sure you got plenty of epoxy on them edges because it's going to be thin. What you could do, you could fog a little bit of color on the sides. That way, if the epoxy is thin, and you don't have quite enough color in your resin well the uh if you fog color on there it will 
show through your thin epoxy and you won't have nothing to worry about because you'll have color there. Got to look for any little dry spots that might be somewhere on the sink. I don't see none. So I'm going to take and hit this with a heat gun one time just to bust the air bubbles. See, like right there, I got a dry spot. this small stick here let me get a little bit bigger stick There's no, don't be scared to just go crazy with it if you want to. There's no set way to do this, just get it on there. That's the main goal. Let me get a little bit of this white on there. This I don't want to use too much of. A little white goes a long way. Let me get a bigger stick. All right, now let me take a stir stick. You can do this with a brush, stir stick. It don't really matter what you, I mean, it does matter what you do it with, but, you know, I use, a lot of the times I use just a stir stick to do this with, because you can, you can control, I mean, I've used paint brushes to do this, I've used, oh, I've used my hand, a gloved hand, you can use that, that makes a really neat effect. Okay, now it's when you want to step back, look at it, and reassess it. I can already see right now that I'm going to want some more of this Aztec gold back here. So I'll take and I'll put me some back there. Maybe bring a little bit down like that. Don't want too much. One thing you do want, you want enough where it's gonna go down in the bowl. You want you want to have plenty in that bowl. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. I know you think I'm crazy right now for doing what I'm doing. But just Give me, give me time with it. You'll see. I need a little bit of gold right there. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing with the white. Except you have to be very careful with this white. Because it does not take much of it. At all. I don't have no white back here in the back. Okay. Get my stir stick back. Now you don't want to, you can't over mix this, so you got to be careful about that as well. You don't want to over mix it. Very easy to over mix. Just want to hit it and get away from it. Hit it and get away from it. Hit it and get away from it. You can take your brush. 
that's inside right here. Or you can just leave it alone, let nature do its thing. I think that's what I'm going to try first. Just to see what Mother Nature is going to do for us. White. I need a little white. I need a little gold. More gold right there. I wish you guys, when I get done, I'm going to get the camera down and show you what this white is doing for this piece. Simply amazing. Love it. Let's see. I know you probably think I'm crazy. Wonder what is he doing? Just give me just a second with it. Just give me time. Time's all we need. You can do this. You can take your brush, use your brush. But the brush, it tends to meld it together a lot. Let me get some of this black right here and put it right here. I need a little bit of this black back here. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more right here. Got good color on my sides. In front. Don't be scared to put color anywhere you want it. You can do anything you want to with a sink. And you're not going to hurt it. You don't like something, you can change it. That's the good thing about epoxy. If you don't like it, you can change it. Okay, let's put the heat gun to her. Okay, you want to be careful doing this. You want to mix your colors too much. Very easy to overmix here. You just want to make it look more natural. That's all we're going for. Not going to hit it very much. I just want to soften some of the edges out. That's all I'm doing. And for the inside, I just want to get it flowing. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. I got something hanging me up right there. That's it. 
That's it, guys. It's that simple. Just that simple. I'm going to do some of this epoxy real quick. Wish I had a sample board. I could pour it. Let me think. Do I have an extra one laying around? No, I do not. All right, guys, let me get this camera down off of the tripod, and we will get a closer look at this. And whatever you do, don't judge your work yet. This epoxy is going to move all of the uh, mica powder, the spray paint that I got in it. All of that's going to continue to move until this sets up. This is going to look somewhat different tomorrow than it does right now. So don't judge your work yet. So let me get the camera down off the uh, tripod and we'll get a closer look at it. All right, guys. Here she is. I'll try to get up close and get you some of these details if I can get my camera to focus. I apologize for that glare from the lights up above. Like I said, this is a very small sink. It's probably a foot and a half across and a foot and a half from front to back. It's not very big at all. It's square. Well, you, I mean, you could imagine it goes into a travel trailer, so it's going to be small. Let's look in the bowl. You see, I got color on the front edge. This is a nice piece. Very nice piece. Let's get an overall view of it. Not a bad looking little sink. You guys ought to check out some of my other videos I got. All kinds of colors on sinks. Now when I tomorrow when this cures, I'm gonna pour my backsplash to tie it into this. Stay tuned, and you guys will get to see that. All right, guys, welcome back. It's the next day, and we're going to finish the sink up. We're going to do the backsplash. So I'll get the camera set up, turned around and set up, and we'll get to work. All right, guys, it's the same as before. We're going to mix the epoxy up in a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm using three ounces of hardener, three ounces of resin. That's what I've got here. I've got my Aztec Gold mixed up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and my main color mixed up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol so it don't clump up in the epoxy. It just makes it easier to mix. Alright guys, let me get this camera set up in front of the sink and uh, we'll get to work. Alright guys, I apologize for the sink looking cockeyed in the video I uh, wanted to give you guys the best view I could and I also didn't want to get in the way of y'all seeing I mean I might be in the way a little bit but I'll, I'll try to stay out of the way alright whenever you put your sink up like this make sure this is level take your level put it on here this way and then take your level sit it on there that way and hold it down onto the backsplash and make sure it's level very important let me get this epoxy on this there's no set or no special way to do this just pour it on i'm going to get in the way for just a second so i apologize
Now I'm just going to use a stir stick. It bends at such a little amount to put it where it needs to go. Like on the top of the backsplash. And if your work surface is clean down here, use that epoxy. That's down there. It's clean. Don't don't be scared to use that. That's my reservoir, I like to call it. Make sure you bust all them places to where it's not wanting to flow. Get epoxy all over every bit of it. Make sure you get it on there and get it on there good. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick just to get the bubbles out. Do not fire your heat gun up pointed towards your project. If you do, you're going to get dust all in it. Okay, time for my highlights. Now, obviously, it's not going to take a lot to do this. Just do it to taste. It's up to you what it looks like. Up to nobody else. You're the artist here. See, it don't take a whole lot of this white. This white goes a long way. All right. I'll take my stir stick. And I'll just initially mix it up to get my see what kind of design it's going to give me and I'm thinking I don't have enough Aztec gold back there so I use what I got down here below Let's see, I'm going to take and put some down here in this epoxy that's run off the edge. Give it a little bit of a mix. And come along the top edge of that backsplash with it. See how that turns out. Let me see, I might want to put a little bit more gold in there. I got some gold on that sink top. Give that a little bit of a mix. Right there, some. If you ask me, that's done. Get a little bit of that white. Now I'm just going to lightly hit this with the heat gun. Let's see, I found a spot I don't like. Right there. 
a little bit too much white for my liking. I'm going to give this a light hit with a heat gun real quick. Okay, I see I need some white down there on the end. I don't need that much, so I'm again going to mix some in this epoxy that's come off the edge. Mix in with a little bit of this, and I'll just take it and just dribble it on there. Like so. Now I'll use the heat gun. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died right there at the end. You didn't miss anything. I was actually, the only thing you missed is me taking the heat gun, going across it, and popping the bubbles one time, and that was it. I was done with it, so you didn't miss nothing. My daggum memory card and my camera got full. I'm having to finish this on my phone. But uh, that's all there is to it, guys. I mean, it's, it's not rocket science. I mean, my 10-year-old son, well, when he was 10, he's 12 now, but he could do this at, at 10 years old. It, it, it's... It's really nothing hard about it. I mean, if there's anything I can ever help you guys with, you know, you can always, always put it in the comments below. My email is down there. It should be. If it's not, let me know and I'll get my email to you. Or just message me. You know, anything I can help you guys with, I'll do it. Also, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this little sink. Would this be something you would put in an RV if it was yours? Now, uh, she's going to love it. I, I mean, I know. I know they're going to love it. Without a doubt. I know they will. I like it. It turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out. Also, uh, I have some more videos coming up. I have the table that's going into this RV. I've also done that. I think I showed you a video, I mean, uh, not a video, but uh, I think I showed it to you a little early on in this video. I've also got a video of a clock I'd made for my wife. Her friend was asking if I'd ever done anything like that. And I mean, I've dabbled in it with saw blades and stuff like that for man caves. But this one was done on a nice wooden plaque. It, it turned out beautifully. You'll see it. I made the video of it. I had my son helping me on that. He was my cameraman. But, uh, and if that's something you guys want to see more of, let me know in the comments below. I have a lot of people bring me sinks, and that's why I'm always making sinking videos is because I have a ton of them. You would not believe the amount of sinks that people call me about, bring to me, and all that. If there's anything else, I got a countertop I got to do. It's not a very big countertop. It's only, I think, nine and a half foot long, two and a half foot deep. It's just one single counter. That I've got to do. Uh, I think I have a coffee table with a rock edge I've got, it, I got, I've got coming up. Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of videos coming. Anyway. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you have done anything different? You got any questions, any comments, or anything like that, put them down there. That lets YouTube algorithm know that we're interacting with each other on this video, and that helps the video out more than you can imagine. Uh, if I've earned it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already got yourself subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It, I believe it's in this corner over here, I believe. It'll be on one of these corners right here. There'll be a little link to it, so you can just click it, subscribe. Oh, it's a click of a mouse. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And then hit the little notification bell so you'll know when one of my videos does come out. But anyway, guys, like I said... Give me a thumbs up. 
if I've earned it, I hope I have, uh, hit the subscribe button. Get yourself subscribed if you ain't already. I hope I've earned that. And please, please, leave me a comment. If it's just to say hello, give me your suggestions, your comments, your thoughts on this sink or any of my other sinks or whatever. Just leave me a comment. And as always, I love you guys. Be safe. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Tomorrow is Father's Day, so this video is on Saturday. I love you guys. Peace.